Hi, Mike Robbins, Paradise Cigars. Uh, this is my 40th year in business. And I've smoked cigars from the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. And my pick, the cigar of the year for 2019 is uh, The Boss. It's a triple Maduro from the Dominican Republic. The Boss is made by Cuban stock. It has a pigtail and a rough foot. The flavors are, in my many smokes of the cigar, Turkish coffee and dark European chocolate. I mean, that's how I describe it. Behind me, you'll see my desk. This is where I work. <laughs> like everybody's desk, a mess. Um, I got all my lighters. I got like four torch, a three torch, a single torch. There's some um, there's some old lighters that are just flame. Um, but I'm going to use the triple torch to start it. Mm. Right away, it has that, that dark chocolate flavor. Triple torch. Perfect draw. Lots of smoke. As delicious as it gets. Touch up the dark leaf now. To get a nice even burn to start, that's the way to get it going. Just about any cigar really, if you want a nice even burn. But, to back it up, you should always have a little single torch because that's the way to touch up little uh, little runs on the cigar. So you've got your, your big torch, your triple torch if you want to just light it with a lighter. Perhaps you should have just a lighter. The wrapper is dense. It can sometimes burn a little off. It can need some touch-ups, but it's worth it. They're, uh, they're only four different sizes. There's the VP, the director, the chairman, and the CEO. The great thing is they make one for every, every size, I think, and the big one is six by 66. It's hard to find a cigar. It's just different. It's unusual. It's got a different taste. It burns good. It's got a it's got a really smooth draw. And this one just seems to be the cigar that's hit and among my regulars, <clears throat> one of the cigars they smoke. And many of my regulars have smoked everything. Maybe not from all the years as I have, but certainly for the last twenty years. I like to see a lot of smoke coming from a cigar. At the very beginning on these, I notice that there's a lot of smoke burning off the, uh, the tip of the cigar also. But usually that disappears after a short time. Sometimes, uh, with any cigar, it'll bother me and I'll, uh, you gotta eat, pull out your single torch. Just touch up that wrapper leaf just a little bit there. Because you just want to get it going perfect at the beginning here. Because when you get it going perfect, you start off right, usually you get a better burn. And a more consistent flavor, because you want the wrapper leaf to burn with the cigar evenly. And that way you have an even flavor throughout. Certainly there are some cigars that are great that have a tighter draw. And I've smoked them. Partagas Series D number four. It's a great cigar, but it's a little more snug in its smoke. But but the little cigar burned for an hour and a half. And that's a different thing. And it was delicious too, a different taste. Not as intense in flavor as this. I've smoked many of these and they all have a perfect draw, which is sometimes one of the biggest problems with every cigar, no matter how good it is other than Padron, the, uh, the draw of the cigar.
I usually hold the cigar in an upright position. Like then it burns up into it. I always love the kids going by too. Mm. Bury yourself in the smoke from this cigar. And I'll mention that too because some cigars you're smoking and you're and they taste good and they're good cigars. And you're puffing on them and there's nothing coming out and there's a little little puffs of smoke and you're going like uh, what's the use if the cigar doesn't have any smoke I'm not sure what the point is there and I do want to point out also that right away here this is very smooth and I particularly like them smooth I don't like them uh, spicy or harsh and uh, I would particularly think this cigar would go good with um, with coffee and maybe amaretto Part of the art of smoking a cigar is relaxing into it. Breathe deep. Draw it in. Blow out slowly. Relax into the cigar. As I'm sitting here, I'm looking out on the horizon and sunset and uh, that's what I particularly like there are so many mass-produced cigars today it's just nice to see a cigar it's a small production it's different and unusual and uh, as perfect as this cigar I will say that um, some of the other cigars by the same company tend to be a little snugger and not to my preference but uh, the boss is uh, is the hit of the group I did finish one yesterday. I always like to smoke a few before I say anything about it. But I have smoked perhaps 20 of them in the last year. Relax into the cigar. Let your mind wonder. I'm going to pass out. <laughs> it's actually a, a very mild cigar too. So it's not one that's going to knock you for a loop. I'm not going to go on forever about any particular cigar. So I'm going to leave you with this note about the boss. It's a great cigar. It's one to try. Uh, it's my vote cigar of the year. It's different. It's unique. It's beautiful. Easy draw. Smooth as a day is long. Fairly mild cigar for a dark Maduro. Try it out. Uh, enjoy. And I'll see you soon. Thanks so much.